And the two periods that we are worried about is how much time for filling and how much time for what? Ejection. That's the bottom line, right? Okay, good. Now we're going to go to the next one, which is animation. I'm not going to go through the animation. You can play it back. But we're going to go to this most important word diagram that I'm going to go through. This diagram now it becomes what I explained to you so far, believe it or not, I almost explained the whole diagram. Okay? But to make it more organized for your understanding and, and learning process to build <coughs> facts on the top of each other, to see where we are, we're going to focus on this diagram only on the vertical lines. Okay? Don't look at the horizontal curves. Except one. Which one I am looking at? This one here. What's that? Can anybody recognize that? That's the EKG. It's called the electrocardiogram. That's the EKG. We're already familiar with the EKG. This is the PQRST. And then PQRST. So do I have just one cardiac cycle here or more? Huh? It has to be more than one, right? Does that make sense? Because we have two cycles of the EKG. That means we have what? More than one heartbeat. Okay. So how do we know where the heartbeat starts, where the heartbeat ends? That depends on you. Nobody tell you where to start. You can start. It's a cycle, remember? You can start in the cycle at any time. You don't say in the carousel, if you go to the carousel here in San Martin, and you want to ride on one of the horses, you don't say, which horse I want to ride on? Right? You just jump on the carousel. So the same thing here, we have, you can start anywhere, but the most important part Okay? Where you start is where you stop. Does that make sense? You don't exceed that point. So for example, if I started in the tip of the QRS here, okay, which is the R point here, right? Then I have to stop at this R as well. Which means I included the P wave only once, I included the T wave only once. I cannot start in the beginning of the P here and end in what? in the R here. Does that make sense? I cannot start in the PQRS here and end in here because I skipped the T. So when you are looking at one heartbeat, you want to make sure that wherever you started, that's where you start. For simplicity of this diagram, which is created by Guyton a long time ago, that <coughs> he starts, or I like to start as well, on the tip of the QR. Okay? So this is my what? my cardiac cycle. This is one heart. Make sense? Even though I'm not starting with a P like you expect me to be, but I'm going to start with what? And why I'm starting with this? Because very 